Welcome to Nature Speaks, everyone. My name is Tracy, and this is today's message channeled from the spirits and energies of the natural world. Today, the great spirit of the zebra steps forward with a powerful invitation for us to claim an attunement with the energy of our zebra nature. The first thing the zebra offers is they observe that as a species they are most um, fascinating to our, our species, that we love them, that we use them as a symbol pretty much everywhere for the letter Z or Z. You know, Z is for zebra, as we're teaching. And they want us to remember that. They want us to remember that we have assigned to the zebra this other connection which serves our own desire. Not through something that's really physical, but through this concept that allows us to communicate and to share information with each other. And it's simply a symbol that has and represents something that we are trying to teach to our young, or to all of us. They step forward and acknowledge that there are many of us who have and may feel like we are zebras in a herd of horses or donkeys, and in some ways feel similar to the herd. In other ways, we, we kind of stand you know, really apart, and we may appear to stand physically in the way we express ourselves different and that many of those of us that have and feel that we are a zebra may seek to paint over our stripes as it were and to hide ourselves and to mask ourselves through that which is the field of assimilation out of you know, fear of being ourselves. And it is to those they are speaking. The great spirit of the zebra is reaching out to everyone who feels this sense of requirement to mask their own unique and beautiful light. And they invite you understand that this is your greatest blessing and what you have and serve not to be ashamed of it not to hide it yet to claim it so the aspect of claiming one's zebra nature is that which has invites you to call forth with joy. I am that I am. This is what I am. I claim my zebra nature. I'm proud of it. I am proud and I am joy-filled to know myself as unique and blessed to be so and to no longer hide. So it is the season as they offer to wash off you know, however we've painted the stripes over, whichever way we've done that, and to stand fully in the grace of what is in this entire field of creation, what is only within you, your unique spark, your unique light. And to also understand, and they also offer themselves visually this is where the symbolism and the connection of, you know, looking at zebras and comprehending that their alternating stripes may remind us of one who has integrated what is considered the opposite. So these are the energies of the white, the black, the black, the white, the yin, the yang, the divine masculine and the feminine, and to know that which is embodied, so our physical form, and that which is the energy of our light that has and is held within our physical form and yet is not limited to it. 
And to be able to claim this full integration of our zebra nature, they offer this is the season. This is the season of your clan looking to claim that willing and beautiful integration of all that you are here in what they call this speck of a lifetime, <laughs> such that we have and know ourselves in our beauty, in our power, as a member of a tribe, yes, and offering the blessing of our unique song as that which has and contributes not only to our own awareness as a species, but to all life and flow in all planes. This is the grace, the blessing, of the attunement of calling to ourselves our zebra nature. And when you look at a zebra and you call this alignment energetically to yourself, it's to stand in joy of your uniqueness. It's to stand and sing, I am unique. That is my light and flow. Yes, in this manifest physical form, they observe that more and more and more of us have and are claiming our zebra nature and that not all will claim it in this lifetime or maybe even the next or the next. Yet the season is upon us through the claiming and the awareness that we have and are integrated beings who are physical and beings who are more than and that we hold, as you look at those stripes, both in this field. That is honestly the process of ascension that we have called to ourselves from the deepest part of our hearts. And they refer to what they say is a very well-known analogy of the caterpillar and the butterfly. And to comprehend ourselves as both, as holding the energy of the both as our nature at all times. So this is the short video summary that is coming through from the great spirit of the zebra. And to all who have and receive it, I am most grateful for your light. If you are drawn to consume more than this short video summary, access to the full channeling of today's update is available on the Gaia Translate podcast, streaming now on your favorite podcast platform, or listen for free at www.gaiatranslate.com.